Welcome back everyone. Today we're deep diving into the world of color grading with DaVinci Resolve. Specifically, we'll be focusing on two powerful tools, contrast and pivot. Contrast is essential for creating visually striking images by enhancing the difference between light and dark areas in your footage. Head over to the color tab and locate the contrast slider. Here we have a grayscale image and it will better give you guys a visual of how contrast and pivot works. So if I go to my contrast slider and I add contrast, we can see that the image is creating an S-curve. If I bring it down, it softens the contrast. So again, if I bring up the contrast, you can see that the image is getting brighter as well as it's getting darker. And if we look at our scopes, we can see that there's an S-curve. The pivot control allows you to adjust the center point of your midtones. This means you can selectively brighten or darken the midtones without affecting the overall exposure of your image. So if I bring down my pivot, you'll see that there's more highlights in the midtones. And if I bring up my pivot, you'll see that there's more shadows in the midtones. Now let's jump into some real world exercises. But before we do, this video is being sponsored by audio.com. Whether you're working on a YouTube video, a podcast, a commercial, or any other project, Audio.com has the perfect track to complement your vision. Use coupon code SAVE70 right now to get 70% off your first year of Audio Pro. Audio.com will become your go-to destination for all your music needs as a content creator. Thanks again to Audio.com for sponsoring this video. Let's demonstrate what the contrast and pivot slider does. I'm going to add some contrast. And then I'm going to adjust the pivot. So do I want the midtones to be brighter? Or do I want it to be darker? I think I like it darker. We can also adjust the saturation. Because whenever you add contrast, you also add saturation. So we'll just dial back that a bit. That's before and after. And I'll just add a new node. And I'll just throw on one of my horror pack LUTs for the Rec. 709 footage. Now once I have my LUT input, I just go back to my first contrast node and just readjust the contrast. So I think I like it right there. So we'll turn our LUT on and off. And then we'll turn our contrast on and off. By mastering contrast and pivot controls in DaVinci Resolve, you'll be able to create stunning visuals that captivate your audience. Also, if you're interested in getting my LUTs, there's a link in the description for my horror LUT pack. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys soon.